Hello everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this evening update. I really hope that you have been doing fantastic. And so we will be talking about what is going on across the Caribbean. So there has been flooding along coastal areas in Jamaica as well as the Cayman Islands. And so I will be showcasing some of the clips of what's been happening within these areas. But also this frontal system is not over yet. So along with those cooler temperatures, which will start set, uh, setting in tonight, there is going to be that shift in rainfall activity, additional heavy rain for Puerto Rico and even parts of the lesser and to Lee. So let's get straight into what is happening and let us start off with those clips. Now these are from the Cayman Islands. This is Cayman Bracken. There we can see all of that damage that has been done due to these strong winds and those very rough seas. And this was also taken. We can see those enormous waves offshore and some of the damage done. So some of these wind gusts were over 40, maybe even 50 miles per hour at times. Definitely tropical storm force. So this frontal system has certainly been mimicking tropical storm conditions. And this is another video. We can see all that flooding which has been, uh, which has taken place within these areas. The good news is that things will be improving as the week goes by. Let's shift over to Jamaica. And so uh, here we're seeing this video of those very rough seas out there. And also some popular tourist spots in Montego Bay. For example, we have Doctor's Cave beach there we're definitely seeing that it is inundated because of those very very rough seas all this storm surge the winds pushing the seawater on shore resulting in that flooding as well as pier one so the parking lot has been fully inundated due to the waves crashing ashore all that water uh, that seawater coming in and flooding the space so that's been what's happening guys please continue to stay safe as best as possible and to do not take any unnecessary risks but what goes on from this point so let's take a look at the forecast here we're looking at a wide view of the atlantic we can see that complex low pressure system and all the associated activity also see that south america is quite active let's quickly look at the area so there's been some thunderstorms across parts of colombia venezuela and even towards the guyana exactly some periods of very heavy rain maybe with some flooding you can let me know in the comments what's been going on for you but uh, looking toward the Caribbean now, especially over in the Lesser Antilles, there hasn't been too much in terms of rainfall activity. But as this front continues to make its way out, some of this rain is going to be shifting toward the east and impacting some of the islands. As I speak, let's go ahead and take a look at that rainfall forecast from Euro. And here we're seeing all of these colors, these orange, red shadings, even those purples and pinks popping up. So some of those areas may experience up to three and a half or even four inches of rain. We're seeing that for the vicinity of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, up to an inch or so across the Leeward Islands, including Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seba, St. Eustatius, Montserrat, and even Antigua and Barbuda as well. So those areas may experience some substantial rainfall and in some cases there could be flooding and parts of puerto rico have already been experiencing some decent rainfall activity today you can let me know what's been going on for your area even down through the uh, abc islands there could be some additional heavy rain between now and through tomorrow night northern south america also likely to remain active similar story along the caribbean coast of panama and Costa Rica, but for other areas such as Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and over towards the Bay Islands of Honduras and other parts of Central America, too much isn't expected in terms of rainfall. So there could still be some showers and up into the Bahamas and near the Turks and Caicos Islands, there could also be some additional heavy rainfall. Now going on to those wave heights, this is for later this evening and we're seeing some of these orange shadings across parts of the Western Caribbean. Those are wave heights up to around 13 feet offshore, well offshore Jamaica as we're seeing. So it is going to remain quite active through the rest of today. However, as the week goes on, things will gradually improve in the Western Caribbean. So for the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and even along the coast of Central America, things will be improving as the week goes by. However, offshore the southeastern U.S., we're seeing those very dark red, even those purple shadings popping up as well. So some of those wave heights could be up to 21 
feet. So very dangerous marine conditions offshore the southeastern states, uh, especially offshore Florida and even off the northwestern Bahamas and eventually for Bermuda. So uh, as we're going to be heading into later this week, headed to our Thursday, we're seeing that things are definitely going to be improving across the Caribbean seas down to around five, even six feet at maximum. But uh, just in the outermost parts of the Bahamian Islands and even parts of the northeastern Caribbean offshore in the Atlantic could experience some of those rough seas because uh, that low pressure system is still in the neighborhood so wave highs up to 15 feet or even higher offshore Bermuda by the way so that's going to be the story as we head throughout this week and as I said earlier the cool down is going to be setting in now these are the final maps we're taking a look at and here we are seeing these different colors so the blues indicate cooler than normal temperatures and this is for tonight and we're definitely seeing that cooler air for the Bahamas, parts of the Southeast US, Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and over into Central America as well, such as Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, even towards Honduras and Nicaragua, including the offshore islands. Then as we head out into Thursday, still seeing all that cool air around most of the Caribbean islands spread in towards Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, even near the ABC Islands down there and the Lesser Antilles. So that's going to be the story. So tonight is likely to be chilly for many of us, especially those areas which haven't been experiencing much, uh, much sunshine today because of all the rain and the overcast conditions. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted. So that is what I wanted to share with you in this evening update. And I really hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.